everyone, I am Madog Daimaster, joined by... Hedonistic Actor. Yes, from good old Scandinavia, and we are watching a classic Terry tune from 1936, starring Kiko the Kangaroo, possibly one of the only obscure inkblot characters that I have never heard of. The Foxy Fox. Is Terry Toons like from different company? Yes, Terry Toons is the animation studio by Paul Terry, whom at the time had just left Van Buren. And uh, his cartoons would be distributed by 20th Century Fox. So yes, a completely different company. Therefore, these are far more obscure to find. As you can see, the copy of this cartoon is quite ruined. Terry Toons, as far as my experience with them goes, they tend to have pacing problems. Although the reason I chose this one, even though the plot only starts going at around uh, the third minute, is that I think it's a good introduction to the character of Kiko. What he's about and what he does in his spare time, entertaining the animals. Your sneezing <laughs> was perfectly timed with the worm coming out, I have to say. Well, I guess now he has a worm in his stomach. Yeah, I was just wondering that how Kiko is uh, different from other uh, such uh, wacky animals. Well, first of all, he's a kangaroo. Yeah, there's not many of those. Not at the time. In fact, the earliest kangaroo I can think of in cartoons is the one that Sylvester the cat mistakes for a giant mouse. Anyway, it's the Foxy Fox of the title, which looks a lot more like a cat than a fox. Mm. This weird fusion between a cat and a wolf, or a lynx. The character design is a bit miffy. Ouch! I tell you, keep me in the face. That's very unorthodox. Which year is this? This is 1936. Although you wouldn't be able to tell by the state the video is in. <laughs> I'm sorry. I need to insert the third gear. Ah, now the car is going. I have to say, Kiko loves and is friends to all animals, unless they happen to be cat wolves or foxes. There's only vegans in my car. <laughs> uh, yeah, Kiko might be a bit intolerant towards uh, the carnivore friends. He is not at all like Kimba the White Lion. He wanted to reunite all of the Animal Kingdom under one banner, even though it made no sense in concept, but still. Yeah, well, in Cartoon Ball it really doesn't make a sense to be a carnivore, because many of them have personalities and have sentience. I mean, by that logic, I guess carnivores just have to starve to death. This raises some ethical questions. Oh, anyway, 
Those were some reused uh, musical cues I recognize as soon as uh, Kiko was jumping off the cliff. Also, wow, Kiko is uh, extremely violent, as it turns out. For a kangaroo, he doesn't do much of kangaroo stuff, like jumping really long. Well, he jumped off a cliff! Mm. Yeah, get him! Yeah. Wow, suddenly he's losing the fight. <laughs> mm. <laughs> what is that supposed to represent? <laughs> yeah, Kiko seems to be the inspiration for that kangaroo thing in Tekken. I mean, the classic stereotype of the boxing kangaroo is the inspiration of the kangaroo in Tekken. <laughs> There's a stereotype? Apparently there is, I don't know where it generates from, but... Anyway, we have successfully repelled the foxy lynx. And now we celebrate because America. So there are several cartoons starring Kiko that have been produced in the late 1930s. I've seen a few of them. I chose this one in particular because, as I said, I think it counts as a good introduction to Kiko. Also, the first half basically has nothing happening for itself, so I figured that would be a good place to start a discussion without being distracted by all the action of the kicking of the fox lynx wolf cat, or whatever the animal was. It was okay. It was okay. So, as I said before, I was interested in this because I have never heard of Kiko up until recently. And mind you, I pride myself for being quite knowledgeable of the various rubber hose stars, even the less known ones. I can tell you that Oswald the Lucky Rabbit has had multiple girlfriends in between the Disney and Walter Lance period. For example, I can tell you who Bosco the Tolkien Kid is, an early Warner Bros. character, that is. And I can tell you definitely who Flip the Frog is, the creation of Ab Iwerks. But Kiko? No, that is too obscure even for me. Yeah. Yeah, from those I've only heard of Oswald and I haven't seen any of his sorts. Well, it's impossible not to have heard of Oswald, given that at some point it was a big deal that he was uh, featured in a Disney video game. Yeah, he was... a predecessor to Mickey Mouse. By all intents and purposes, he is Mickey's older brother, which was also the storyline in the epic Mickey video games. They haven't done much with him ever since, which disappoints me. Thousands of characters in the world and you can't use them all. You would think that a Disney character would find some spotlight I mean, they've brought back so many obscure characters in the new Mickey Mouse cartoons. Yeah, I haven't watched uh, any new cartoons in a while. Well, you should. And that's my input. So anyway, this was Kiko versus the Foxy Fox, which still does not look at all like a fox. But that did not prevent it from being essentially beaten. <laughs> Senseless. <laughs> I guess that's our commentary then. I am Madog Die Master. Yeah. And I'm hedonistic actor. Arrivederci. That was all, folks. Ha 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 ha!